Well, hey neighbors, and welcome to the Shed Shop and this edition of How To. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose a chainsaw in this particular situation, a Johnson Red, I'm sorry, that Johnson Red. Neighbor Derek, get your saw out of my filthy, devile, nasty thoughts. A Husqvarna 455 Rancher, which is very similar to the Johnson Red CS2255. And I keep calling poor neighbor Cody's John Deere CS62, John Sered CS62. I'm dirty. I'm sorry. Okay, so this saw the Timber Brothers brought me. Timber Brothers Tree Service. Hey, hopefully they put their info below so you can call them. They're two young men just getting started out with a tree service. And they brought me this saw. They bought a couple saws off of me and we're still... Their MS310 is great because I didn't do them dirty. Their 025, I did them real dirty and I'm, and I'm being chastised and I love it. Uh, I'm having to work through the issues uh, I, I missed. And it's great. It's great. It's beautiful. But anyway, so this saw, what we're going to do right now is, uh, this saw used to run, but you see, neighbors, what happened is the problem is it fell asleep. The saw fell asleep, and now we don't know. Now we don't know what issues it has. We don't know where it's tainted. We don't know where its problem is. We don't know if it has a good heart. And so, on a diagnostics, we're just basically going to look at the outside first. Uh, but, but with that, neighbors... We're also going to get a peek at a part of the heart. And that's where we start. We've got to start and look whether our heart looks potentially usable or not. And so we're going to remove the muffler and look at the piston. And that's exactly where we're going to start. And then we'll go ahead and do a vacuum pressure test if the heart looks okay. And we'll see are the seals that keep all the vile nastiness outside and the good stuff inside of your temple, which is your top end, your cylinder, are they good? Are the rubbers that protect the channel, the path from the carburetor to the heart. The intake boot, is that good? Is that leaking? And so we're going to check those things. Is the base gasket, is that leaking? Where the temple is sealed off and the crankshaft is housed? We're going to check all that, neighbors, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn you down to this John, uh, this, this Husqvarna, that Johnson Red's got to get out of my head. The word Johnson Red. I never want to say it again. It's filthy, vile, and disgusting. No, it's not a bad saw. It's okay. It's just heavier than this, this one. But this is an old 455, so it is kind of heavy. It's not as heavy as my 455 XT. And it is an XT. It's just an older one. Okay, neighbors, so the very first thing we're going to do is move you. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull our muffler. I don't know the measurements of the wrenches off the top of my head, neighbors, but if I get the right ones, I will tell you. Okay, your muffler. If this is correct. Hey, go away, wasp. You're not a good neighbor. It's going to be a, a number five, okay? Number five hex screwdriver. And that might be incorrect, neighbors. Like I said, always verify my facts. I'm just telling you what I'm using. It feels a little loose. It might not be the right one. Okay. There's going to be three muffler bolts, it looks like, on this saw. That one broke a lot easier than the other one. Okay, great, neighbors. Now that we got them loose, we get this big old gaudy handle out of our way. Because Chainsaw Redeemer can't find the right set of screwdrivers that he wants because he doesn't like sitting down at the computer and he wants to buy them in person, but nobody has them. Some things, neighbors, I don't like buying online. Because it's kind of like this, this muffler right now. We pull it off to see the heart. When you buy online, you have, to, you have to assume what's behind the muffler is good. You don't get to take a look. You don't get to feel it and touch it. Examine it. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. You don't get to do that with tools you buy online. You never used them before. You only can go by what other people say. Okay, neighbors, we got that off. And let's look at our heart. Our heart is filthy, vile, and scored, and no good. Okay, neighbors, that's unfortunate. Now I have to tell these boys that I have to rebuild this saw for them if they want it to work for them. Okay, neighbors? I'm going to get a flashlight, neighbors. Okay, neighbors, my light is dying, and I'm so sorry about the camera work, but you can see very easily the scoring of this heart is ruined. This, this heart needs replaced. 
Is the temple good? We don't know. The thing is, we don't know if the temple's good until we get in there. Because some of the heart might have transferred onto the temple. And it's bad now because it's ruined and melted. But neighbors, the good thing is, sometimes when that happens, we can remove the transfer. And our temple's still good. Our top end is still good. It just needs a new heart. And so we'll have to find out. We'll, we'll let the Timber Brothers know what we've diagnosed with their saw. And uh, we'll see what they want to do. I believe they're going to want it rebuilt. Okay, so that, that that's going to be it, neighbors. That's as far as we go. Sometimes as soon as we see the heart's no good, we, we know what process we have to take. We either junk it and throw it away and say it's worthless, or we fix it. And so we'll see what they want to do. Okay, maybe they want to trade it into a different saw. And then one of you neighbors can have it redeemed on the channel for you. We'll see what happens, neighbors. I don't know. It's not up to me. Okay, be kind to everyone because we're all facing a different battle. Until next time, neighbors.